Hey guys, it's a Hey guys, it's Siddharth and today we are talking about Batman Volume 1, The Code of Owls, written by Scott Snyder and drawn by Greg Capullo. Uh, this is uh, my favorite, favorite uh, volume of all the volumes of the New 52 that I have read, Batman and even otherwise. Uh, this volume is really strong in that it delivers on what it sets out to do. Like it, it it wants to be a reader friendly story and it's a reader friendly story it wants to be a great batman story and it's a fantastic batman story at that kudos to scott snyder and greg capullo right because uh, the, here's the thing worth mentioning the code of owls is like an original concept that these two came up with uh, so you really don't need to know anything uh, about the batman universe before getting into this book so it's really easy to read and uh, if you're new to comics and you want to read something about Batman, go ahead and read this. It's fantastic. Uh, now, I'll just talk about the writing a bit before we go on to seeing how uh, awesome the artwork is. Uh, so Scott Snyder writes uh, horror really well. Uh, and that must be true because uh, that's, a, that's the sort of feeling that you get coming out of this book. Uh, there are a couple of jump scares that get to you and uh, it's just high intensity action. Uh, all throughout. Court of Owls is basically a, a secret organization that's been active in Gotham since uh, Bruce Wayne's ancestors' time. And uh, Batman, of course, doesn't want to admit uh, that uh, there, there is another legend running parallel to him. So he eventually discovers that the Court of Owls exist and uh, they, they trap him, they really push him into a corner, uh, and, but he fights back because he's Batman. Uh, so that was really cool. The Code of Owls then plans to launch a full-fledged attack uh, on Gotham City and uh, that's where the book ends. That's how awesome the writing and the story is. I mean, its ending is just the beginning, quite literally. I mean, I'm sorry for being so corny, but that's, that's how it is. There are seven issues that are collected in this trade and uh, I think I picked it up at around 600 bucks at the time. So I think this was money well spent. Uh, I highly recommend that you check this out. Uh, that was it for my review of uh, The Code of Vows. I will be reviewing the subsequent volumes as well uh, because uh, it's Batman and uh, it's Greg Capullo as the artist. I really, really love the art. I think he's my favorite Batman artist of all time. Uh, anyways, that was it for this video. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.